Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Rifleman, New Zealand's smallest bird species that are quick on their feet. I hope you enjoy. Riflemen, as mentioned, are generally considered to be New Zealand's smallest birds, with the equally lightweight fantails and grey warblers having longer tails. They are only around 8cm long, with rounded wings, long legs, a short, stumpy tail and fine upturned bill with birds only weighing between 6 to 7 grams, one third the weight of a house mouse and around the same as a matchbox. Their English name is named after a colonial New Zealand regiment by the same name, as they drew similarities with the military uniform of a rifleman, which also features a similar green coloration, as well as their regimental and swift movement. They belong to an ancient family of Gondwanan origin, Acanthicitidae, the New Zealand wrens, which is comprised of both the rifleman and the rock wren, the only surviving members, which is a separate group from all other 5,000 birds in the order Passeriformes. While being known as the New Zealand wren, and whilst being similar in appearance, are unrelated to the family of true wrens or the fairy wrens of Australia. Their close relatives, being rock wrens, while also appearing very small, are up to 2-3 to three times larger at 16 through 20 grams, making riflemen even smaller in comparison to already tiny birds. They are relatively poor flyers with limited dispersal capability, although they are constantly on the move, using short bursts of energy to fly from branch to branch or along tree trunks, using their large feet to hang on. They do spend the majority of their time foraging for small insects in the canopy or on the ground, probing under bark, gleaning from leaves, and infrequently pursuing prey in the air, feeding on beetles, spiders and moths, as well as caterpillars and flies. There is some interesting sexual dimorphism between the two sexes, as interestingly, unlike many other passerines, the females are larger than the males, something which could very well be indicative of their basal position amongst other birds. The males are brighter in colour with greener back plumage, with the females being a duller flecked brown. The bill of female birds are also longer, as well as their hind claws, which could be ecological in its origin, being most useful when they have a high energy demand, usually feeding chicks. They are a monogamous species with a long-term pair bond, with mates foraging in close proximity throughout the year, keeping in contact with frequent calls. They live in kin neighbourhoods and are often seen in cooperative groups, which raise broods together. They also form loose territories which are occupied but are rarely aggressively defended, and neighbour intrusions are largely tolerated. They breed from August to February, building spherical nests within existing cavities in trees. Males do most of the nest building, although both contribute to incubation and nestling care, with their nests being compromised of finely interwoven grass, down feathers and other light materials. The female then lays four white eggs, each weighing 1.5 grams, almost one quarter of their weight. Their clutch is then incubated for 19 to 21 days before hatching, with riflemen being unusual in that random single birds, often chicks from a previous clutch, assist their parents in rearing newly hatched siblings, something known as cooperative feeding. The chicks then fledge after 21 to 27 days, and are then fully independent after 4 to 6 weeks. They have short and simple high-frequency calls, often doing so while foraging, with these sounds being inaudible to older people or people with hearing issues, with a frequency of about 20,000 Hz, which is usually at the upper limits of human hearing. They are predominantly found in mature forest, especially beech, cowrie and podocarp, being mainly confined to higher altitude forests throughout the North and South Islands. They were once common throughout New Zealand, although farmland, towns and highways have fragmented and destroyed much of their lowland forest habitats. This is even worse than it looks for these birds, as since riflemen don't fly over open treeless ground, once they disappear from an area, they are usually unable to return due to their limited flight capability and lack of suitable habitats. Their habits of nesting in tree cavities also makes them susceptible to introduced mammals like rats and stoats which also use burrows and tree cavities to sleep and live, leading to much competition and death. This is further evident as the genetic makeup of many differing populations are radically different, being more similar to flightless birds or invertebrates, which don't move very far from their given area at all. Thankfully, the places where they still do hang on, they are locally common, clinging on in many parts of the country where others are fast disappearing, as they have been noticed to be adaptable being observed nesting under hedges, rock walls, and even in rolled up garage doors. They can also tolerate the cold and can enter a state of torpor, a kind of mini hibernation that conserves their resources. 
Thankfully, many conservation efforts have been done to conserve them, as they take readily to nest boxes made for their size, which are often too small for rats and mice to get into, and increases the fledging success of the chicks, as well as many translocations being done to create and or enhance existing habitats. They are also notable for featuring on the reverse side of the New Zealand $2 note from 1967 to 1991, and with some describing them as little balls with wings, their extinction must be avoided. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the New Zealand Pippets, rather unassuming birds at first glance that prefer New Zealand's sandy beaches. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.